Hello everyone, welcome back. Part two is now in session. When we last left off in part one, I stopped at the 1986 VHS of Pinocchio. No, Dumbo, excuse me. Now, this was never got into a moratorium because this was still in print along with um, Robin Hood and Pinocchio. Actually, yeah, Dumbo and the Sword and Stone and Alice in Wonderland never got a um, Mortimorium. Mor it went still in print, and they received new packaging along with the Sword and the Stone Dumb and Dumbo in 1989. Anyway, moving on. Here's the 1986 reissue of the Sword and the Stone. And this is a 1987 reissue, but it's still a 1986 clamshell. Here's a tape with the sticker label. Two print dates. One, you can barely see it. June 16th, 1987 and June 25th, 1987. That's an the first one is, is in dark red. This copy opens up with the 1984 Red FBI warning screen and the 1984 the classics Walt Disney home video cheesy black diamond logo and started the film. Here's the 86 reissue of Alice in Wonderland. Here's a character profile of Alice. Here's the back. Sicker label. Two print dates once again. June 20, no, June 17th, 1987, and July 1st, 1987. This copy opens up the 1984 Red FBI warning screen. The 1984, the classics, Walt Disney Home Video, Cheesy Black Diamond logo, and star of the film. After the movie's over, it's got the black screen of Tone of Death. <laughs> yeah. Also, the black screen of death was also on Robin Hood, Pinocchio, and Dumbo, and the Sword of Stone. I've got to show you guys the profile for Pinocchio. Here's the character profile of Dumbo. Character profile of King Arthur. Yes, and here's the character profile of Alice. Focused. Okay. Here's the 1986 VHS of Sleeping Beauty, released October 14th, 1986. And this is the first Disney film to be in stereo, and the film was priced at $29.95. Mm -hmm. Here's the back. For artistic compositive for superior craftsmanship, and design. Sleeping Beauty is a medieval tapestry come to life, says the Denver Post. Here's the prince in trying to revise Sleeping Beauty. Here's the evil Malicifer. And there's the, the prince battling the dragon. And who's these four, I mean three fairies? If someone know, let me know in the comments below. 75 minutes, ready G, digitally processed. Here's the sticker label with tan lid recording on the Fuji film. The print date, October 20th, 1986. This tape also has the 1985 dark red FBI warning screen. Then the 1984 The Classics Walt Disney Home Video Cheesy Black Diamond logo. And the film's Buena Vista logo and start of movie. And I'm not sure if this has the video dealer announcement or not. 
I will double check and I will put it in the pinned comments below. In 1987, Robin Hood and Pinocchio went out of print. And here comes Sin. No, next up is Lady and the Tramp, released October 6, 1987. And this has. 2 million pre-orders and eventually sold for 3.2 million copies. Very interesting. Got this in 2013. And this is a 1955 movie. From the story by Ward Green. Timeless film, says Los Angeles Times. Lady and a Tramp remains one of Disney's most endearing classics, says the cop. Chicago Tribune. Here's um, Lady and Tramp with the meatballs. And here's the two chefs, the evil kitty, kitty cats. And here's the puppies and a dog. It's been a long time since i seen this film, but who are these characters? Someone know, let me know in the comments below. 75 minutes, rating G. Here's a tape with the sticker label. And no print date. But this tape has... Yup, it won't close correctly. That's a bummer. Even though the packaging sells a little bit of crack, but... Right here, but that's alright. Anyway, the tape opens up the 1984 Red Happy Eye warning screen and the 1984 The Classics Walt Disney Home Video Cheesy Black Diamond logo and star the movie. Now, Lady and a Tramp and Sleeping Beauty went into moratorium on March 31st, 1988. Yeah. In 1987, that year, that Robin Hood and Pinocchio went into moratorium. And they went into moratorium on April 30th, 1987. Next, here's the 1988 VHS of Cinderella. This copy released on October 4th, 1988. And this was price uh, $26.95. Interesting. Um, also, there is a limited edition lithograph was created by artist Mark Davis was available to purchase to anyone who was pre-ordered between July 1st and October, no, July 11th and October 3rd. The original animated classic. Here's the Cinderella. Here's the fairy godmother. There's the four little mices. Character profile of Cinderella. Here's the three evil stepsisters, including the evil wicked lady. And here's the two princess, I mean prince, two prince, and there's a evil kitty cat. A sheer joy enchanting, says USA Today. And there's the little hologram right here. 76 minutes, Rady G. And here's a tape with the sticker label. No print date, but wait a minute, I can tell. Print it in the 76th day of 1988 and the 346th day of 1988. There we go. Anyway, this copy opens up with the 1984 Red FBI warning screen, followed by the trailer for Oliver and Company, which is coming to theaters at the time. Then the 1988 
Walt Disney Classics logo with the Sorcerer Mickey, the 1985 Walt Disney Pictures logo, and started a movie. And this was the prototype copy right here. On the demo VHS of Cinderella, it was the last film to use the 1984 the Classics Walt Disney Home Video Cheesy Black Diamond logo. Cinderella, Cinderella withdrew from sales and it was out of print on April 30th, 1989. Okay, up next I have two copies of Bambi. Released on September 28th, 1989. Yep. And this was the first cross promotion. And with a $3 rebate with a purchase of Crest Toothpaste. Start with this copy right here. A premium classic seen by every generation. Remember, long after other movies have been forgotten, stated by the late Roger Ebert. 69 minutes, Rady G. And this is the second Disney film to be shorter. And here's all the promos right here. All the titles. Very cool, huh? Yeah. I'm going to take this tape out. Here's the sticker label. The print date is July 9th, 1989, and early pressing. Let me put this back in here. And here's another one. And look all these goodies right here. Mm-hmm. And here's the business reply card. No print dates. All righty. Both tapes opens up with the 1984 Red FBI warning screen, followed by the sneak peek of The Little Mermaid. Then, the 1989 Walt Disney Classics logo with the Mickey Sorcerer. And marks the and this marks the finalized edition of the Walt Disney Classic because they enhanced the logo, replacing the prototype logo. Okay. Next. In 1989, Dumbo and the Sword of Stone received brand new packaging. At price at $26.95. Sticker label. And once again, no print date. Tape opens the exact same way. The 1984 Red FBI warning screen. The 1984 The Classics Walt Disney Home Video Cheesy Black Diamond logo. And start of the film. And um, I forgot to mention. Bambi went out of print on March 25th, 1990. Here's the 89 VHS of the Sword in the Stone. This also received brand new packaging. And this has the King Arthur trying to get the sword out of the stone. Here's the back. No critiques. Printed in the 80th day of 1989. This copy opens up the 1984 Red FBI warning screen, 
The Knights 84, the classics, Walt Disney Home Video, Cheesy Black Diamond logo, and started a movie. Next, here's the 1990 VHS of The Little Mermaid, released on May 28th, 1990. No, May 18th, 1990. And this has the controversial artwork. Here's Flounder, Ariel, the Prince, Evil Ursula, and that's King Triton. And here's Sebastian. Here's the character profile, Ariel. Here's the back. You can wish upon a star and not conjure up a more joyous animated movie, says Time Magazine. 83 minutes, Rady G. Here's a tape with the vertical sticker label, no, horizontal sticker label, and a Betamax style sticker label. Printed in the 129th day of 1990 and October 20th, 1990. This copy opens up with the 1984 Red FBI warning screen, the 1989 Walt Disney Classics with Mickey Sorcerer, the 1985 Walt Disney Pictures logo, and started a movie. And I... I know one of my students watched this movie at my summer school. This went out of print on April 30th, 1991. And by July 30th, The Little Mermaid has sold over 7.5 million copies on video cassette. It also came out on Laserdisc as well. Next up, the 1990 VHS of Peter Pan for a thousand. I like the enthusiastic by um, Radeon MWB 1989, Nick Bishop. <laughs> yes. This release, September 21st, 1990, Peter Pan. This has sold 7 million copies, according to the Los Angeles Times and also received a, a promotional with Nabisco. Two thumbs up. You'll fear you feel Peter Pan is your age, no matter what age that is. Stated by the late Cisco Niebuhr. Sorry, I talked too fast. I apologize. Here's Peter Pan. Here's Wendy. Here's his her brother. And here's a little baby with a teddy bear. And here's Long John Silver, or Captain Hook. 76 Minutes, Rady G. Here's a tape with the ink label. Two print dates, March 26, 1990 and April 18, 1990. Okay, this copy of Peter Pan opens up with the 1984 Red FBI warning screen, then it's got the home video preview for The Little Mermaid, the 1984, the classics, no, 1989, excuse me, 1989 Walt Disney, the Walt Disney classics with Mickey Sorcerer, the 1990 Walt Disney Pictures logo and started a movie. And that's it. However, on the Laserdisc release of Peter Pan, it has the Buena Vista logo at the end of the movie. This here does not have that. All right. That's it for part two. Stay tuned for part three.